Hello again everyone and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop. Today we're going to be continuing our series again on VBA or Visual Basic for Applications. Today we're going to be covering a very fun uh, little a fun little function that is available to us that can grab environment information about the computer that Access is running on, and that would be the environ function. So let's take a look at it here. I've got a, uh, once again, on my form that's going to be loading, I've got some functions that are going to run here, some, some uh, VBA code that's going to run, so let's go ahead and go through this here. All right, the first thing is, notice that we've got the use of the word environ, and then in parentheses, we're passing along a argument that is a string argument. And in this particular case, I'm passing along the string argument of username. What that does is, we'll see down here at the bottom, it sure enough, it passes in the username that I'm currently logged into the computer with. You see this? This is the name that I'm currently logged into the computer with. And that's why when I look at the environment environ for a username, I get the return of Steve. That's pretty helpful. We could also use the uh, one very common thing is you'll see this dollar sign put in after the environ function. And that's a performance issue. It just kind of gives us a little performance boost. And you can see that the computer name that I am currently on is Steve's dash PC. So that's one very handy way to handle certain things. Uh, for example, I actually built a script that goes through, and depending upon who is logged into which computer, will set the printer for specific uh, reports. Because some people have label printers and some people don't, and so certain reports need to print to those label printers. And that's a way that you can go and find out who is logged in to which computer. So let's look through some uh, some of these other uh, different environs that you can go take a look at. Now, I don't know them all off the top of my head. Those are the two primary ones that I use the most, but there are others that are available to us. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let me delete all these. Let it go. And let's take a look all users profile so if we typed in something like environ oops environ there we go and i said all users profile that would then return currently the program data as the return result so you can see how this is laid out here on our uh, immediate window this would be what the uh, value is that we would need to pass in as our string and this is what currently would be the value that we would get as a return at least for my particular computer computer this is the environment that we're running in now all right so app data is currently pointing to this directory common program files common program files for 32-bit and then here's a pro common program files for 64-bit and here's that computer name there's com spec, which is just basically you know where your command prompt is located at. You can see it's located under C Windows System 32.cmdexe, and there you go. That's where that currently is located. Home drive, home path. So this is where the path to the current username. This is the path to their home, uh, and this is this could change based upon Active Active Directory if you were on a domain. If you're you know if, if you work in a business office and your computer network is set up with a central computer that runs Active Directory so that everybody is on a domain, then this home path might change based upon certain users. There's also the local app data logon server and this would be that location of what is, where the Active Directory is currently being housed. And since I am not currently on a domain, uh, my local computer actually acts as the logon server okay but if you were on a domain this would actually be pointing to that computer that is holding your active directory uh, mozilla plugin path windows defender uh, let's see what else we got in here there's the operating system number of processors these these are default paths that are built into into windows i don't know if you 
uh, know are, are too familiar with this, but you can go to the property here. And if I look under the advanced system settings here, under, let's see if I can find it here. Got to remember where it is. I've forgotten myself sometimes. Ah, there we go. Environment variables. There we go. There is the temp temp. And there's that Mose plugin uh, path that we saw before. And here are some of the system variables. So there's com spec, FP host, number of processors, OS, path, path text. There's the pro processor architecture, processor identifier. These are all different system variables that are going to be accessible to us using that environ. All right, so that's uh, path right here is one of them. And this is, again, just pointing to um, basically these are paths that are going to be housed that when we type something in here in our command prompt for an executable, so like msaccess.exe, it's first going to look through all of these paths in this path variable uh, to see if it can find that msaccess.exe file and then go ahead and execute it. I know I'm kind of digging around in the weeds here, but I just thought you should know what that's all about. Path text, architecture, there's that AMD64. Again, these are all those environment variables. Um, there are path program data, program files. So here's where the normal program files are, but if you're on a, a x86, which is 32-bit, um, then they're going to be in uh, program files. So if it's a if it's an application that is a 32-bit application running on your 64-bit machine, it's going to be stored under the program files directory. Here's for the 64-bit version of program files. There's the public folder, so everything that um, basically all of the folders and all the files that are under this particular file are shared on the network. So long as I have that public folder being uh, available on the network, which is kind of the default of where files can be seen on my computer. Session name, the system drive, system root, temp, temp. There's the user domain, okay? And the user domain is, again, it's that, um, it's the domain that you would be logged into. So if you're an office company, let's say you worked for a company called uh, Nougat, okay? And N-U-G-E-T, well, nougat.com might be the domain name of your, of your network that all of your computers are linked into. And so you may be able to retrieve what the user domain is, and that would be nougat.com. But since again, since I'm just using my local machine and I'm not part of any domain, it's only going to return my local computer name. There's that username. That's where the user profile is stored, which is really helpful if I want to start trying to save files specifically to the documents folder of the user that may be logged into. Maybe I want my application to save files specifically based upon the user profile. Well, here's where I can go in and grab that user profile variable and then just put a backslash after the after this and say documents or my documents and um, or if I want to just specially make my own folder there. Then we have win directory and etc etc. Again, if you want to, um, this is code that I actually pulled from uh, off of the Stack Overflow uh, by this very helpful post by Urang. Uh, so you're welcome to go ahead and look it up. Just I, I just went environment function code sample for VBA, and lo and behold, I came up with this little code snippet here that goes through and lists all of the environment variables that are available to me. So if you're looking for one in particular, that's a good way to find it.